In this video, you will learn how to host a website on Azure Virtual Machine. In my past video, you learned how to create a Azure Virtual Machine. So I request you to watch that video before proceeding here. So I hope you have a virtual machine like I have here, Azure Virtual Machine. And now, in order to host HTML page, we first need to allow port 80 in network security group so I'll click here and here in inbound security tool I'll add a new port number so source is any source port range I'll star here destination any and port number 80 here and protocol any and name here like uh, web right i'll i can enter any name so because it is for web so i'll type here web 80 and i'll hit on ok so now it will take couple of minutes to add this security rule here so keep in mind we only added inbound security rule here so it is added so i can rephrase it so i just click to close it and I'll reopen it again and I hope you will be able to see port 80 here so you see port 80 protocol any source any destination any right and now let's connect virtual machine where we will add IIS as a web server so I'll click again on connect so it will give us a RDV file. I'll hit it here and I'll connect it. I'll use my password and username. You see password here. And I'll type it here and I'll hit OK. Now once we are on virtual machine desktop, you may see server manager is automatically opening. If not, you can just open it. And now I'll hit add roles and feature here and then I'll click next I will leave it default selection next and then in server roles I'll select here web server IIS and add this feature then in case you are targeting dotnet hosting so I'll click here next and you have option here to select .NET frameworks I just want to host a simple HTML so I don't want that I'll click next and then I'll hit install and now you can see the installation is completed I'll click on close and I'll minimize this now you can see here on virtual machine the public IP I just copy it and I'll try to browse this and you can see we are able to access IIS now on virtual machine I'll navigate to IIS default location which is inside C drive init pub ww root and this file you see if I double click this file it will be this page right now in order to add a new website I'll open server manager and here I'll click on tools and then internet information service manager you can open this page directly from search here also I just maximize this I'll expand this demo VM one selection and sites and now here I can add new website demo website I'll select my physical path in the same directory or if you have added your local SSD you can select that as well in the 
www root i will go ahead and create a HTML page. So I can create a new folder here, even web demo website, right? So I selected that and I'll leave it port 80 and I'll click on OK. So because uh, another site default website is already assigned this port. So you see this warning. So I'll just hit to create a duplicate. And I'll just go ahead and edit this binding and I'll type something else here. Just to avoid the port conflict. And now I have used 8080 port here just to deactivate it and I'll start it now. Now I'll right click and explore this page and here I will create my HTML page. Index.html so you see this is because a uh, text file hello website and I'll save as it because the one we created is notepad file and now we are trying to create HTML page and this is just replacing it so I guess we need to disable the extension so I'll click on view and I'll hide the extension I'll hide the extension I just uh, now I have HTML page now I can go ahead here and I hit refresh and you see hello website message here so in this video you learned how to create your first website on Azure virtual machine of course because we are only using a single port that is 80 here so even I can type here 80 so if you remember we added a uh, port 80 in network security group and so we are able to access port 80 so in case if you want to add allow more ports you just go ahead add it in network security group and if that port is not 80 you need to allow inbound on machine firewall also and you will be able to host multiple websites on single azure virtual machine so i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching